Welcome race fans to Nevada Diecast Racing Channel. I'm Miles Grant. I'm coming to you from the big couch here at Canyon Speedway. In this episode, we are racing matchbox cars, roadsters from the mid-50s to mid-60s. Some real beauties. Let's check them out. First up is a 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. Only five were made, and in 2017, one sold for $22.5 million. Next up is this Jaguar 1956 XK140. These cars were in full production, so not as rare as the Aston Martin, and in 2020, one sold for just 280 grand. Now we switch to an American Roadster, the 1957 Ford Thunderbird. The difference in European body styles and American are very evident in this American classic. And finally is this gorgeous 1963 Austin Healey. In that year, 91.5% of the 300 cars produced were exported mostly to North America. Please consider subscribing to the channel, continuing to build our subscriber bases, how the channel grows. Thanks so much. Now it's time for race time. So let's head to the starting line for race one. Race one, we've got that Aston Martin and the Austin Healey up front. Heading down that straightaway into that first hairpin. It looks like that Aston Martin is gonna take the win. Let's check out the replay. And watch that Thunderbird as it made some nice moves all the way in the back of the pack. And while there's mayhem in the front three cars, here comes that Thunderbird taking advantage. Austin Healey in the side pocket, and then straight on through past that Jaguar. Could make the pass on the Aston Martin, so the Aston Martin takes first place, followed by the Thunderbird. Jag comes in third, and the Austin Healey didn't quite make it to the finish line. Here comes race two, Jag and the Aston Martin up front. Jag trying to block that fast Aston Martin, but no deal. Aston Martin pulls ahead, and it looks like he's got this race wrapped up. And he does. He takes first place, followed by the Jag and that 57 T-Bird, and the Austin Healey barely makes it over this finish line. Let's go to the replay. Rough ride for that 57 Thunderbird there. Keep your eye on the right-hand side of the screen. You'll see that Austin Healey making that pass. The Aston Martin made the pass on the Jag up ahead as well. But by that first hairpin turn, the 57 Thunderbird takes back that position. Here's how it stacks up out of that second race. It's a tie for second place between the Jag and the Thunderbird. And they've got to make some moves to overtake that Aston Martin. Thunderbird and the Jag in the front row. Ooh, nice moving, a lot of paint swap in there between that Jag and the Thunderbird. And Thunderbird comes out on top. Let's check this out at the end. Looks like that Jag did a little bit of showing off, trying to go in reverse, just like that T-Bird. And it costs him second place. Here comes the Aston Martin, overtaking him across the finish line. And the Austin Healey might have taken that third position. Let's check out this slow motion replay coming in. Uh, to me, it looks like that Austin Healey has it. Let's go to that last frame. We're gonna give that third place finish to the Austin Healey. Doesn't really help him much. He's in fourth place going into the last race. The Aston Martin on top of the 11, followed by the T-Bird. Looks like it's a battle between the Aston Martin and that T-Bird. Let's see how it all shakes out. Oh, big accident. And it looks like that Jag escapes the carnage and takes it all the way home. And he's going to take the win. Let's take a look at the replay, folks. This is a serious accident. These are convertibles. And you see the 57 on his roof. And he is just being pummeled and pushed all over that track. And we're not sure how that driver fared. We saw that Jaguar escape. The Austin Healey managed to dislodge itself, but he gets stuck on that hairpin turn. We're going back to the scene, folks. There's a driver on the asphalt appearing to suffer from a groin injury, judging by his position. All right, we're going to the frame by frame. You can see the driver pop out of the back end of that T-Bird like giving birth. He's right behind the bumper of that Austin Healey. I'm sure he's gonna be all right, folks. He just needs to, to walk it off. And they've got him loaded up in the back of a pickup truck. Hey, we should probably get an ambulance, right? 
All right, it's the 1956 Jaguar XK140 with a surprise first place finish. That concludes another episode of Nevada Diecast Racing. We appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. I'm Miles Grant, your announcer, and I'm an adult.